name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Daniel. Let's read. Daniel was born about uh, born in about six hundred five BC. One day, King Nas Nebuchadnezzar the Nazar made a gold statue mm, 90 feet tall and 90 feet wild. Sorry. And set it up to the on the plain of Durua. <laughs> In the pro province of Babylon, a herald shouted out, "People of all races, and nations, and language, listen to the king's command." When you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, harp. And other instruments blow to the ground to worship King Nebuchadnezzar gold star statue. Anyone who refuses to obey it will immediately be thrown in a blazing. For mace. So the king made the big statue with gold and he said worship it. Daniel's friends Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who king is this. The king had put in charge of the province of Babylon. Defy the king commanded by refusing to share king's gods or to worship God's statue. The king had set up because. They were all they were willing to die rather than serve or worship any god except their god. The king ordered some of the strongest men to his for his army to bind them and throw them into the blazing Vermis. So Daniel's friends didn't obey the king. So the king ordered to put them in the blazing vermis. The so soldiers tied them up drew them into the furnace fully close. The flames were very hot and laid out and killed the soldiers as they threw the three men and but the fire had not touched the so much measures and Abendengo, not a hair on their heads was signed, and their clothing was not scorched. They didn't even sm smell of smoke. The king said, praise to the God of the he sent him angel to rescue him servants 
who trust in him. There is no other God who can rescue like this. After King Durus became the king, Daniel proved himself more capable than all the other administrators and prince became of his great ability the king made plans to place him over the anything improve then the other admirers and prince became searching for from fall and the way daniel was handling his affairs but they couldn't find anything to the charities he was faithful and honest and always responsible so daniel was very responsible and believed god and obeyed god so the administrators and prince went to the king and said long life king Darius, please give order that for a next 30 days anyone who prays to anyone doing vice or harm harm except to your majesty will be thrown to the lions then and King Darius signed the rule, but when Daniel learned that the new had been signed, he went home and knelt down as usual in the upstairs room, just as he had always done. Giving thanks to his God. Daniel knew the rule, but he still prayed to God. <laughs> the picture. The officials went together to Daniel's house to find praying and asking God's help. So King Jesus gave them order and they brought Daniel and threw them into the lion's den. So actually King Jesus was sad when he knew that he was tricked by the wise men. The wise men were um, the the like Daniel because Daniel is too powerful and wise, so they made the king make the rule. When Jurus knew this, he knew that he was tripped. Asking for God's help. So King Jesus gave the order and they brought Daniel and threw into the lion's den. Then the king said to Daniel, My may your God whom you serve cordially rescue you. <laughs> Daniel At the first light of Drew, the king got up and went to the lion's den. 
When he came near the den, he called Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve, continually been able to rescue you from the lion's death? Daniel answered, Wow, my God said, uh, his angel, and he should. He shut the lion's mouth. They have not hurt me because I was found in correct, correct. And his sign nor have he worked before O King at the king's commanded the man who had safely rescued Daniel. When brought in the throne in the lion's den, and before they reached the floor of them, the lions appeared, then and crushed all their bones. <sniffs> King Jerus sent this message to the people of every race and nation and language through the world I direct everyone should mm, thought my king should tremble with fear before the God of Daniel for his help living God and he will endure forever his king was will never destroy and his rules will never end. His rescue and serves him people. He performs miracles, songs, and wonders in heavens and the earth. Then he rescued Daniel from the power of the lion. Process during the range of and the range of curse the per se. The Durst told all people to obey the one true God, Daniel's God. Yesterday we read the Bible story, did you enjoy it? And next time we'll read another God story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!